hi guys and welcome back to our channel for the sake of this being a very quick video i'm just going to talk in the camera so hopefully you can hear me i'm just going to quickly show you today how to make your own coconut milk now as you can see um i already got my husband to cut cut or shall i say break the coconut by putting it in an old tea towel and going outside and hitting it on something hard and that broke it and then we just took off the shell and washed it and so we're left with little pieces like this like this see once you've done all that process washed it you then put it in a high speed blender and the reason why i'm saying high speed is so that it can really blend it well to get so i'm literally just throwing in all these pieces you can break them up if you want but I'm just going to put them straight in. Now I'm going to add some water. Now if you want you can add more water. This is about two cups. And I would say we use about half of the coconut. Maybe less but you can see about how much is in there. These are all the bits that's in there. And the most probably could add more water but we'll see. So now I'm just gonna go and blend it. So once you've put it into the blender and added the water, you just go ahead and blend it. So I literally blended it for about 40 seconds. And now we're gonna strain it. transferred it into this so now I'm gonna wash this out because this is where I'm gonna strain the milk into so now that I've strained it and I've got everything I blended and the blend blender I'm gonna get my muslin cloth now this is a cloth that you can buy from the market it's like this it's got very small holes in it I add all of the milk, can you see it's quite thick so I can add some more water, all of the milk into there and use a spoon to just get all of the milk out. So while that's dripping I'm going to wash this because this is where we're going to store it. So once I've pressed it enough and I'm going to need my hands, hopefully you can see this, zoom out a bit. I then, you have to be careful because you can make everything drop in. I then, I hope you can see, I'm slowly lifting it off and I'm using these two hands to hold the cloth so it doesn't drop. Yeah? Like wings. And then, see, I'm holding it and taking off the lid. And you can see all the pulp in there still. And now I'm just going to squeeze out the rest of the milk. This beautiful pulp that you can use for your dishes. I hope you can see that. It's all that's left in here. And you also have your milk creamy homemade coconut milk now like i said you can add more water if you want to but this was a good amount for me you can actually use this as a rinse all you do is put this in the fridge to make it cold and then you can use it as a last rinse to get you can also add these milks to your deep conditioner mix so instead of using water which i'll leave a link to instead of using water you can use a milk as the base and then blend up your avocado, your banana, and that will be a good deep conditioner as well. So thanks for watching. Bye.